What it do guys, Mondrame here, and today we're going to check out the DC deck building game Legion of Doom expansion pack. Let's remove the plastic first. And I was surprised by this thing's existence in that, you know, it's cool that we're getting these super villains, but I wish we had just gotten like a full crossover pack so that we could play as... Uh, these versions of the heroes and not just fight against the bad guys. On the front, we see various supervillains as well as Legion of Doom's headquarters. So pretty cool. An interesting small box that this thing comes in. On the back, DC deck building game Legion of Doom expansion pack. Banded together from remote galaxies are 13 of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom, dedicated to a single objective, the conquest of the universe. Adds 13 of the Legion of Doom supervillains based on the classic Challenge of the Super Friends TV series to any DC deck building game base set. Limited edition packaging features the Hall of Doom, the fiendish headquarters of the Legion of Doom. Contents 13 standard supervillain cards, one rules card, one randomizer card, and one multiverse divider. Requires any DC deck building game base set to use because this is literally just supervillains. So I'm surprised to see that we're getting um, multiverse cards and randomizers. This is really cool, but it does very little because they're just super villains as far as uh, that's that's just nice. Yeah, a randomizer that I mean, that's weird. All right, so randomizer, it's the same artwork. It is what it is. That's kind of what we're used to. Lex Luthor. Plus three power, put any number of cards from your hand on top of your deck. Black Manta, plus two power, and put up to three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. First appearance attack. Each player puts three cards with a cost of zero from their discard pile on the bottom of their deck. Discard a card for each card that you failed to put under your deck. The Riddler, which I think is the first time we've gotten him as a super villain. Look at the top two cards of the main deck. Place one face up and the other one face down. Choose a foe to pick one of the cards to gain and put in your hand. Add the unchosen card to the lineup. First appearance attack. Each player looks at the top card of their deck and destroys it or the next card. Scarecrow, another first for this villain. Plus three power and attack. Each foe gains a weakness. Unavoidable first attack. Each player gains a weakness then shuffles all weakness cards from their discard pile into the deck. Captain Cold, plus two power reveal and draw the top card of your deck if it's a villain or equipment, plus two power. First appearance attack, each player discards a hero or superpower if you cannot gain a weakness. Gorilla Grodd, who's just a naked gorilla, plus two power reveal and draw the top card of your deck if it's a hero or superpower, an additional plus two power. First appearance attack, each player discards a villain or equipment if you cannot gain a weakness. Solomon Grundy, plus four power. If this card would enter your discard pile from any zone, put it at the bottom of your deck instead. First appearance attack. Each player puts a card with a cost of one or greater from their hand on the bottom of the main deck. Toy Man. Plus three power defense. Discard this card to avoid an attack, and if you do, put up the three equipment from your discard pile into your hand or draw two cards. First appearance attack. Each player discards a random card. Bizarro. Plus seven power and gain a weakness. First appearance attack. Each player destroys two cards in their hand. Cheetah. Have we had a cheetah one? I'm not sure. Plus three power. At the end of your turn, draw an additional card for each different card type among cards you gain this turn. First appearance attack. Each player gains a weakness for each villain in their hand. Giganta. I'm pretty sure we haven't had this before. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Draw the revealed card with a higher cost and discard the other card. Repeat this effect two more times. First appearance attack. Each player discards a card with the highest cost in their hand. Brainiac. That's a cool one. Gain any number of cards from a lineup with different card types. First appearance attack. Each player puts two cards with a cost of one or greater and different card types from their discard pile into the lineup. Sinestro. Plus five power attack. Each foe gains a card with a cost zero from your discard pile. Oh, that's kind of cool. First appearance attack. Each player looks at the top three cards of their deck and passes one or more of them to the discard pile to the foe on their left. 
the contents and setup. When building the supervillain stack, you may choose to replace the starting supervillain with Lex Luthor. The rest of the supervillains in this pack can be mixed with supervillains from the set you are playing by selecting the remaining seven cards from the supervillain stack. Or you can use it completely from here, choosing one eight, four nine to tens, and three eleven pluses. So you pick specific ones depending on uh, their strength. And it does vary, and I'm still not sure about how the multiverse thing works, the randomizer, since the only cards here are super villains and they don't get added to the lineup. Unless they do, and it's just something different that this does. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look into that. I am excited that we got so many new super villains in that we did not have before. Like, I don't remember if we have Bizarro, Giganta, Cheetah, Toy Man. We had Solomon Grenadine, I think we had Gorilla Grodd, Captain Gold, but Riddler and Scarecrow, those are definitely new and I'm super excited to have those. Who here was your favorite supervillain? Well guys, that's it for the DC deck building game, Legion of Doom Expansion Pack. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out links in the description below, like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now guys, Mondrame out.